It's the Eagle 106.9, a Coachella Valley's classic hit station. Brad Mercer hanging out with you until 7 o'clock. You know, known for being a member of Free and, and Bad Company. We've been talking about Bad Company coming to town on July the 16th at Fantasy Springs Resort Casino Special Events Center. Now, the guy I'm going to talk to has experienced international success in the 70s before establishing a career as a solo artist. He was a member of The Firm, The Law, toured and recorded with Queen. You know, I'm beside myself. I'm telling you right now, because on the phone is the one, the only, the voice himself, Paul Rogers. Hi, Paul. Hey, Brad. How you doing? I had to do that, man. I had to bring you on as though you were standing right here by me. That is so nice. That is so nice. It is such an honor to talk to you. Last time I saw you, I was 17 years old. Wow. Wow. And you're what, like 18 now? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like it, you know. Being yeah, here, well, that's good. That's, I feel the same way, my friend. You know, and well, it shows. I've, I've seen video on you, and I'm looking forward to seeing you at Fantasy Springs because you don't stop. You are one ball of energy. Well, yeah, I'm doing quite a few things. I, 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 I'm actually working with uh, my solo band and going right on from that to uh, into the Bad Company tour, and and I'm looking forward to it because um, we've I've completely revamped the the band in in many respects. We've got um, I've I've loaned them my publicist, manager, lighting tech, sound engineer, two managers, an entire staff, and two of my um, solo band members as well because we don't have Boz anymore, unfortunately. But you know the chemistry is is working so very well. We did a UK tour, and mm-hmm. uh, finishing up at uh, Wembley, and we actually recorded that. And I think, to be honest with you, man, it was possibly the best thing we've ever done. Well, we're looking forward to seeing you here. Hey, didn't you play bass guitar at one time? Well, yes, I, ha- I actually started life playing bass, and um, I I have a strong affinity for the instrument. I mean, I think. A band really is only as good as its strong point, and you really need a, a strong bass player, you know. And I've always had good bass players in the, in all the bands I've been with. Um, but yeah, I put it down to sing, and um, I haven't really regretted that. <laughs> Paul, I, I have to know this. You just became a doctor, am I right? I did. I, I, I was very honored. Uh, the, my hometown, Teesside University... They offered me a doctorate, and I was I was very surprised. Actually, it came right out of the blue because, for me, I left school when I was sixteen, uh-huh. and and basically hit the road, you know. And I've been in bands ever since. And my education really has come from sort of Motown, and the blues, <laughs> you know. <laughs> but they they're very lovely. They wanted to honor some of the people that had, um, of course, become successful from my hometown, and they. There was a racing driver, I think, and there was a, a, a novelist and um, the Bishop of York and, and various different people. Mm-hmm. And I had to wear the hat and the gown and the whole bit. And so, yeah, it's official. You know, Paul, I absolutely loved The Firm with with you and Jimmy Page, Chris Slade, Tony Franklin. During that time period, how was the chemistry with you guys? Well, it was, uh, it, it's good. I mean, I still, uh, uh, Jimmy, actually, Mr. Page, was at the Wembley show, and uh, it was really good to see him. He, he's doing great, you know. It, strange enough, when I play uh, my in with my solo band, I, I usually do songs from all of the bands, you know, from free, that I've written with Free, with Bad mm-hmm. Company, with The Firm, etc. Sure. And I'm rediscovering that material now with my solo band. This is great. And Closer is something that we're, we're re-looking at. We're really having an exciting time with that. However, I digress. Uh-huh. Um, this is a Bad Company show. And when I play, when we do the Bad Company tour, I've decided that the best way to, to move forward with that is to stick strictly to Bad Company material. And it works very well. I was going to ask you this. You know, I know it's all about Bad Company on, on Friday night. There's got to be a surprise or two in the works. Well, yeah, I, there is. The surprise is that we're still alive. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah, that's what I say to myself <laughs> once in a while. Electric Land is one of the songs that we uh, recorded on the, the last album that I was, we were back in 79 mm-hmm. uh, or 1980, whenever it was, when I left the band. And um, we never toured on that album. So the song was never played live. So it's virtually a new song. And it's interesting to discover that, to to, to get into that and, and see how that's developing. And it's becoming 
very atmospheric and very moody. It's a song about life on the road, actually, and, and an incident that occurred in Vegas way back in those those heady days. And um, as I say, extremely atmospheric. And the song, the, the set is developing as, as we go. I, I like to start out with a set list that looks good on paper, mm -hmm. and then I work, I, as we go from night to night, it changes. It will sort of change its shape and move and develop uh, from night to night. I got to tell you, Paul, this has been a great, great time with you. Well, thank you very much, Brad. I've really enjoyed being with you, my friend. Uh, I got a couple of other things I wanted to ask you. I, I know, thinking back to the 80s, and I have a hard time with that because there's some of the things I want to forget, <laughs> <laughs> but I had a radio show in Jacksonville, Florida on Rock 105. And I used to hang out with Gary Rosington and Alan Collins all the time. Oh, Gary, yeah. And th there was a rumor going around then that you were thinking of singing with the Rosington Collins Band. Was that true? That's a new one. You know, I mean, uh, Gary and I, uh, and Leonard Skinner, we've we've hung together over the years, and I've, I've been up to jam with uh, with them on stage, and I love them to pieces. But uh, we never really talked about. Um, actually, one time Gary flew all the way over to London. And um, when I played at the Albert Hall and, and um, jammed with me and my, with my solo band. So, yeah, we go way back. But I don't think there was ever, that was ever on the cards, no. But I've been asked to play with some interesting bands. Queen was one of them. Well, yes, indeed it was, yeah. And that actually came together, as we know. And it was a, a, an amazing experience. But I actually am I'm really, really very happy and glad to be getting back to my own material and, and playing it so strongly. Well, it's all about Bad Company. Friday night on the 16th at Fantasy Springs Resort Casino Special Event Center. Paul Rogers with Simon Kirk. Mick Ralphs, right? That's my man. All right, man. We're really looking forward to it. Thanks so much for being a part of the Brad Mercer Show. Hang out. I'm going to talk to you a little bit more, okay? Okay, man. 